In addition to the march in Ohio last week, we've seen lots of momentum from diverse groups of voters in the state on the issue of abortion. A coalition of black Ohio pastors released a letter asking Ohioans to think carefully about issue one. More than 100 pastors signed the letter, arguing that the black community has been the target of, abortion, of the abortion industry for decades. The letter goes on to say that while black Americans only make up 13 percent of the state's population, more than 40 percent of Ohio's abortions are performed on black women. The group says, we urge our fellow Christians, the black community, and all Ohioans who believe in the inherent value of every person to vote no on issue one this November. The future future of our state, our society, and our race is at stake in this amendment, and we must protect them. As they were praying that second joyful mystery, and the woman had seen the picture of Mary and Elizabeth and read the little story, she said, my baby kicked, <laughs> and she started to cry. She knew that God was going to provide. And on a joyful note, a new series helps Catholics pray the rosary more deeply. Mysteries of the Rosary will guide viewers through all 20 mysteries. The Sorrowful Mysteries dropped during Lent of this year. And on October 7th, the Feast of the Rosary, media company Paradisus Dei released the Joyful Mysteries. Special guests provide personal insight into the mysteries, including Sister Faustina Maria Pia of the Sisters of Life. You can hear more from her and watch the series for free at the Rosary series.com. And on Friday, October 13th, the Church in the United States begins a special novena dedicated to praying for those vulnerable to abortion, euthanasia, and assisted suicide. This special nine-day prayer provides special reflections and acts of reparations. We encourage you to pray along with us for an end to abortion, and you can find the prayers at respectlife.org.